Hello and welcome to Belly Beasting. I'm Gareth. And I'm Rob. And uh, today we're coming at you with, we're going to try the Packy One Chip Challenge from 2021. So just squeezing it in before the end of the year here. This has Carolina Reaper and Scorpion Pepper and apparently doesn't taste good um, and is very hot. So not going to lie, quite nervous about this one. <laughs> and... Um, because I'm actually going to do it for the League of Fire points, I am going to just quickly read the disclaimers before we get going with anything else. I'm just going to make sure that this doesn't time off as well. Right, so, I, Gareth Havard, am over 18 years of age, of sound mind, have read and understood the product disclaimer on the League of Fire website. In summary, I accept the League of Fire, their suppliers, manufacturers, will under no circumstances be responsible for or liable for any claims of injury or damage arising from me consuming this product or multiples thereof, I acknowledge and agree to this without question. I am not doing it for the League of Fire. I am doing it because... So he I doesn't have to, to do the disclaimer at all. Uh, it's just I, for me. I promise not to be uh, a squinny. No claims. He's, he's com- <laughs> We've both never done this chip before. No. Nope. This is both our first time. And to come in at what it's, we've been told is the hottest one is always fun. So I'm just going to quickly record a close-up of... The one chip, so you can see it's all intact. None of these seals have been broken. So you'll see there, no seals broken. Um, I won't hold it up to that light because the light there will just cancel out anyway. Right, now, do you want to cut in and open yours first? Yeah. That's, so that's in the boxes, it. I understand we get a banner. Uh, obviously, we get the one chip, and then there is some uh, light literature about some of their other supplying supplies as well. So I'm just going to go through this. I'm going to show that the packets are also intact. So as I lift mine up, um, I do not think that my chip is in one piece in there, but we'll see. We shall see if I destroy this or if it destroys me. Yeah, my money's on the chip. Yeah, <laughs> it says if we do five minutes with powerless, ten minutes powerful, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, Quite frankly, I don't care. If I do five minutes, I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah. And then we've got lots of other stuff. And, of course, the uh, the nice coffin-shaped box just to help you realise what sort of thing you're letting yourself in for. But anyway, right. So here we go. Chips at hand. There is a little, like, rip bar on the chips. And, again, I'm just going to quickly do this because there have been people who've been doing fakes. You can clearly see that this has not been opened and resealed. Same with Rob's there. And that'll do for that. Right then, let's open these up and see if we've got one chip or if we've got parts of chips. Right, my that's tall. Most of one chip. Mostly one chip. That's actually quite good. No, mine is not. Mine. Oh my god, the smell of that straight away. <laughs> oh yeah. Right, before we even start, I'm going to have a sip of water before we start, just to like loosen me up a bit, I think. You're giving me an appetizer. Yeah. <laughs> I am, I must admit, I'm not looking forward to this at all. Right, oh god, this is actually in lots of pieces, so I'm just going to... My natural instinct was just to take that small bit and just be like, oh, yeah, yeah and start. No, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Right, I'll start the timer as soon as we've both finished our bits. Right, so that's everything. So there's nothing left in that. So, yeah, I've got, like, a stack of bits here. And I'm going to chew like crazy, swallow like crazy, and hope for the best. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Good luck. Yeah, <laughs> we're both terrified of this. Oh, man. Oh. I should have had some water beforehand. <laughs> Doesn't help that much. God, it's stale. That is not pleasant. Nope. Ah. Mm. 
par hiccups. Mm. Ah. Oh my god. <coughs> Don't breathe through your mouth, breathe through your nose. Oh, oh hiccups. <coughs> my tongue is completely on fire. I'm drooling, I can feel that style. <sighs> my eyes are watering already. Oh. Oh man, this is painful. But it's all in the mouth. It's that scorpion pepper just completely around the tongue. Oh, it's an evil thing. I punching my tonsils. Oh yeah. Oh. Tell you what, five minutes are going to be a push. Uh -huh. I know it says to not breathe through your mouth, but I don't feel I'm getting enough oxygen through my nose because now it's started running. Oh my God, my eyes. Oh. Oh. Evil chip. Oh, straight away. I feel that in my ears. <laughs> yeah, I've had that before. Oh my god, I've actually got started getting a little bit of shakes as well. Oh, I'm producing so much saliva. Definitely the hottest thing I've had in a while. Uh, it's ridiculous. <coughs> and my tolerance has been low because so I haven't done a challenge in months. <laughs> You've never done a challenge. I've had a Carolina Reaper, and that was <coughs> stupid enough. I honestly don't think milk's going to help. I've got tinglys in my hands. Uh -huh. Yeah, you get the uh -huh. same. My hands feel like they are on vibration mode. Cheeks as well. It's starting to dissipate in my mouth now. Don't get me wrong, it still hurts. But at first it was like a seven. And now I'm down to about a five. Breathing is a lot easier. The sides of my tongue feel like they need to be cut off. <laughs> Ugh. I'd hate to think what my blood pressure was doing right now. Uh, the saliva build-up is not good. We've done three minutes already though, right? <laughs> Man, I thought my eyes were watering. Yours are going something chronic as well. I can smell the colour nine. <laughs> oh, don't do that. I just <laughs> snotted up. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Like Rob always makes me laugh, and it's terrible in these sort of situations. <laughs> you ran out of kitchen towel already. Yep. Oh man, this is why we always. It's like the most intense tonsillitis, stabbing pain. I've never had tonsillitis, but the saliva build up in my mouth is just. Oh. I can feel my eyes pulsing. Yeah. It's like the vibrating. Don't do this. It's not. It's not shaking my hands now. But I can still feel like they're vibrating. I can feel the fasciculations in my eyelids. Yeah. Whew. That is no joke. Ah, All I can say is, after doing one of those, and obviously mine aren't the freshest because they were stale as hell, tasted disgusting. That was a really unpleasant taste. Um, All I can say is, James Copper who did 45 of these in a row, you are a complete and utter madman. Get your head seen to. <clears throat> I mean, yes, you do lots of multiples, and I've, but yeah, you're at a different level, mate. 45 of those. Ridiculous. Anybody who does more than one. I actually had another one set to the side just in case, but there is no way. 
10 seconds. Oh, we only got 10 seconds left. Thank goodness for that. I must admit, it's starting to really dissipate now. My head is not on fire anymore. I'm still sweating like no one's business. My nose is still going. But it's just like the tingling's fine. It's just weird. It's the sharp pain in, in the, the back front. of the tonsils that's really. Yeah, this is why I made sure I chewed mine a lot though, as well. <laughs> So it, when it went down, it wasn't so bad. I mean, at least I managed to get that down, but that's a small quantity. What was the next? This is the same level of heat. What was the next time thing? Ten. No. <laughs> five thirty. We are at five minutes thirty. Excellent. Right. The only other challenge I thought that has been anywhere near as bad as this for me was when I tried doing the one, the massive half pound chocolate peanut butter brownie. And it clogged up my throat. And the level of heat on this reminds me of that challenge that I failed. I can say I've passed this challenge, okay, only by the five minutes, but it's now time to take a sip. <clears throat> the milk really helped that pain in the tonsils. Everything else feels all right now. Stomach's starting to tell me that, what the f*** have you done? What the hell is this? Yeah, I can imagine. <sighs> Luckily I'm not doing this live. I'll, I'll get the bleep test out for Rob later. <laughs> In that case, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <sighs> you know me, I swear like a good one. Mm. But when it comes to these videos, I try not doing too much. Oh. My word. Oh. Well done to everybody who's done one of those. Mm. I'm looking forward to doing the jewel at some stage. I've heard the jewel depends on how much coating there is. So now I'm hoping there isn't much coating. <laughs> but that is... It's something else, and I'm just glad that milk helps the mouth, even if it's temporarily. Yeah, you feel it come back, don't you? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. It comes in waves. Luckily, my stomach is going, yeah, okay, right now. But. Uh, see how that goes. I might just upload this to YouTube with swearing in. I might not bother editing <laughs> it, because... I don't think I can sit at the computer and edit this later anyway. But, okay. I think I'm going to give up myself and Rob a little bit of a rest from the camera. Get some more stuff down us. Get some more milk. But you, you don't, you thanks don't, everybody you don't for watching. The next bit. <laughs> thanks everybody for watching. I must admit my mouth is now starting to get more and more build up again. Mm. I think talk is not helping. Mm. So... Thank you all. I've got another video coming where I try some hot cereals as well. So um, watch out for that one. That'll probably drop within a day or two of this one. Okay, thanks very much though, and goodbye. And thank you for having me, Gareth. And no worries. Yeah, goodbye. thank you. Goodbye all.